Hello, everyone. Well, I just wanted to tell you, okay, I mean, neighborhood parties, this is like a continuation from the last vlog I did because I told you I'll tell about the neighborhood parties. And the thing is, when you live in central London, especially if you live in, I don't know, um, uh, Spitalfields or Mayfair or any, you know, zone, like zone one, you know, kind of, you're bound to mingle with people, you're going to parties, you're going to pubs and clubs and bars and and if you're like me, if you're part of the local community and if you're working with local associations, local charities, um, organizations, local businesses and if you are a socialite, okay, you are going to be mingling with loads of people and um, you're going to be going to loads of parties, you're going to have your own events and you're going to have other people's events that you're part of, you know. So there's loads of events all the time. Last weekend was a mad weekend. Apart from bit, being bitten by, by my neighbor's dog, right, there were so many parties. Okay, last weekend, not, not this weekend. We are now in this weekend, as in today is Thursday, but Thursday is the, the new Friday in London. I don't know how it is in other countries, but... You know, uh, when Thursday happens, people get really, really, really excited, especially in central London. So today I've already been invited to two parties and I don't think I'm going to either of them because this whole week and weekend I want to declutter and do paperwork, get rid of emails, do the texts and this and that. As a networker, you have to keep uh, be on top of all this. But last weekend was different. Because last weekend, okay, I had to go to so many parties, right? So one of our residents who was leaving, she was moving back to Estonia and she has a huge duplex apartment in near Devonshire Square in London Spitalfields. Um, I'm saying London Spitalfields, so people who don't live in London know what I mean, <laughs> sort of thing. And she has a bar in her apartment seriously this woman has a bar in her apartment with the most expensive wines and spirits and everything and she invited me and her friends and, and we went there and we had drinks and then the same day we had a house party at another local residence um, flat apartment flat whatever you call it um, and, and that was brilliant as well and this girl is so rich and her boyfriend is rich as well. And they have the most expensive artwork all over the flat. They even have an original Banksy, you know. Apparently it's worth half a million pounds. I don't know whether it's true. But judging by the expensive wine they had and the Bollinger champagne and the food they ordered, you know, they didn't cook. They didn't do any canapes or little snacks. No, 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 no. They actually ordered food from a restaurant in central London and it was all like champagne and caviar and lobster with a black uh, squid ink rice something I mean it was all very fancy which is great you know I, I actually feel very flattered that I was you know I'm invited to parties like this and then the next day you know there was another party and then another party and I actually have lost track of the amount of parties I went to last weekend so it started on Thursday last weekend last week two parties on thursday uh, another party on friday two parties on saturday and on sunday there were like three parties you know at the duke of wellington pub okay which is down the road and they have an outdoor area with a huge roof they used to have umbrellas covering the tables but now they have a roof so even if it rains heavily in london people can go and sit there and drink and smoke in the outdoor area while covered, you know, by a roof. And, you know, that was happening. And then Sunday finished. And then on Monday, you know, there was another party, a barbecue party in my neighbor's garden where loads of people were invited to. I was invited, of course, and I can never say no to a party, you know, because when you're a socialite, you're not extrovert. You know, you thrive on this. It's it's part networking, part socializing. And, you know, um, I also do a lot of work in the neighborhood. Lots of local businesses hire me to 
bring in local residents for promo promotions and events and everything, local charities, local organizations, and people hire me to do certain things. So it's all part of my work. So I gain so much from this neighborhood in London Spitalfields, and I also give back. So anyway, Sunday was like last Sunday, party after party after party after party. I mean, seriously, at one point, I was at this party in a neighbor's garden. It's a private garden. And it was mad because late night, you know, one of the girls got on top of one of the tables and started dancing and she took her top off and everyone was dancing around her, you know, and then she took her bra off and threw it at us, you know, and it was fabulous, you know. I wish I had filmed the whole thing, but sometimes at certain events and certain parties, when I try to film something, people say, no, 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 no video, no photos, you know, because they, they, they're being bad and they won't, don't want it documented on, on screen, online or whatever. And other people look at it and they judge them. They don't want that. No, no, no. So I was like, okay, no video, no photo, whatever. So this topless girl was dancing on, on, on a bench. And then she invited me to dance with her. So I got up and she asked me to take my clothes off. Um, I took my shirt off. I didn't take my trousers off. I should have, you know, I should have taken my trousers off. Perhaps taken my underwear off and get completely naked, you know. That's uh, what I should have done. But I just took my shirt off and we did a little dance and then we got down. And then some of the other neighbors, um, I think two neighbors came outside we were all very drunk at this point, okay? And I think, like, two neighbors came outside and said, well, okay, keep it down, it's very loud, shut up, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if they said shut up or keep it down or whatever. We didn't really... <laughs> we were really this. Okay. I was still sober because I drink water in between, but I was a bit hazy, you know, a little bit... Like, I was in the zone, I was in the mood. I was like, I mean, if a topless woman is dancing on a table and invites you to join her, you know, you're not going to think about anything else, right? So that's what happened. So that happened on Sunday or Monday or whatever, I can't remember. And then on Tuesday, there was another party, okay? This was in a house party near Devonshire Square. Everything happens in Devonshire Square. Um... And it was a new street, and it was another girl who has a duplex apartment. Lots of duplex apartments there, you know. So she had a party there, and she invited loads of people, invited me, and it was so much fun. But then, on Wednesday, I realized, because when I woke up in the morning on Wednesday, I felt really awful, like groggy, I'm not sure if that's the right term. I felt awful. Um... And then my partner said to me, you know, you're drinking too much, smoking too much, sleeping too much, eating too much, and you're not getting any younger. And that's when I realized, because all the people I party with are half my age. They're in their 20s. I'm in my 40s. So I should look after my health, you know. So I have decided that for the rest of this week and weekend, and it's bank holiday weekend in London, in Britain um, so there are going to be more parties I've been invited to two more today and I don't want to go but maybe my feet would automatically drag me there I'm not sure yet but I mean honestly you know I don't really understand why people say don't party too much don't drink too much don't smoke too much yes of course drinking too much and smoking too much is bad for your health but if you do it socially isn't that all right. Isn't that okay? You know? I mean, you only live once. But physically, for today or this life you have on earth, you might be reincarnated. You might go into the afterlife or whatever. But I believe in all that stuff, by the way. But what, what really irritates me is that when people say, this is what you should do. Wake up in the morning, do this, do that, go to work, get work. If you're working for yourself, you have to work, 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 do that, make lots of money. Why? You know, yes, of course, we can all make lots of money if we want to. You know, we can buy properties, we can have 
everything, you know, but are we going to take it with us when we die and move to the afterlife? You know, why can't we just live and just have fun? And I personally think that everybody should work for themselves, you know, rather than most people do the safe thing, you know, kind of work for a company or work in an office or do things, you know, that, that, that you're told to do. But there are freelancers, you know, like myself. I'm sure some of you are freelancers. And, um, and you have socialites, you know, who don't really have to work for a living. And even if we make less money when we are doing some work, we don't really care because our whole, our sole aim is to enjoy life. That's what we want, you know. And um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I don't really know why I'm even saying this. But my point is, why can't we just live the way we want to live? Why do we have to live um, in a way where we are told... Like,